Hey, I'm doing a little video here this evening of my imaging setup and uh, got something interesting to show everybody. This is a uh, skybox. This was invented or created by a CCD freak on cloudy nights or Mr. John Love and uh, I don't have it set up exactly like John has. I have uh, uh, set up kind of in a simplified manner but what it is is it's a uh, it's a cube structure that has a three-quarter inch metal pipe and it's got these three-point connectors at the uh, on each one of the corners so my pipe here is 10 foot sections wide and seven feet tall and then I've got these little uh, clip deals to attach the tarp. So it's seven feet tall, and the tarp is a seven foot tall by 20 foot wide tarp. So it wraps around the back, and I have uh, two of these going on here. So uh, this is a tremendous tool for getting the wind off your scope. So what I'm running here is uh, I've upgraded recently to 11 inch Edge HD. So uh, this is a new scoop for me to be working with. This is I think the fourth time I've got it out. Uh, all together I've got about a uh, right around 50 pounds of load. I got the 11 inch Edge HD. I have a 0.7 Celestron Focal Reducer. I've got an S Big 1603 scientific research camera that's great for shooting galaxies. And uh, then I've got it on the 11 inch, eight, the uh, 10 micron GM 1000 HPS mount. And I've got a bunch of counterweights on here. It's about 54 pounds of counterweights. But we're having a pretty good night here. Things are working well. And. Uh, Coming and looking at the uh, results of the night, uh, I'm imaging the Hercules Galaxy Cluster. So this is what we've got here. There's a few clouds starting to move through. So some of the images are real good images and some of them are a little bit lumpy. Looking at the guide graph, let's see what we got here. So the guide graph, looking at the distribution of the guide points, is just absolutely fantastic. And the metrics look pretty good. But the thing that's very important to always see is, you know, what do those stars look like? So the stars look pretty good. And uh, I'm real happy. But I wanted to do the video to, uh, you know, show kind of what the uh, sky box looks like and to close up the sky box all I'd really need to do is uh, fix my uh, you know bungee cords here and uh, tighten up this other wall and I'm good to go but the wind is coming from the south on the other side so I've uh, I just blocked off the wind coming from the south, so north is at my back. I'm facing south towards the uh, the telescope is facing south. But uh, just wanted to share this. Uh, it's John Love's idea. It's really great. If you do want to go on Amazon.com, uh, you can come and uh, find these pieces yourself and uh, build one yourself. In fact, I'm thinking about doing another one and upgrading to uh, one inch pipe instead of a uh, three quarter inch pipe but uh, this uh, sky box is very very effective at keeping the uh, the wind off my scope and I'm actually uh, thinking about setting my scope up in the future and setting in some more uh, uh, cement blocks at the bottom to actually lower the mount inside of the uh, the sky box a little bit farther down pretty shortly here June's going to be here and in June in South Texas northern Mexico it's absolutely fantastic for imaging because we've got clear night after night after night of nothing but clear skies no rain at night 
It's absolutely amazing, but the wind also blows 20 miles an hour after dark. So I'm really looking forward to the opportunity of those clear skies. And I feel like with the skybox set up, I've got the solution to keep the wind off the uh, 11 Edge HD and with the assistance of that 10 micron mount be able to do a whole lot of imaging many many nights from June, July all the way to August so uh, thanks for watching my videos uh, clear skies to you and uh, this sky box this is something that uh, uh, if you need a mobile observatory or you don't really have an observatory but you want something to block the wind in the backyard to be able to use an 8 inch scope or 11 inch scope or the 14 inch scope, this is absolutely essential. You can spend a lot of money on a mount and other things, but this skybox is probably one of the easiest methods to get really uh, good performance out of a uh, Smith cast grain telescope. It's just get the wind off the scope and the stars get rounder and your images look a lot better. Well clear skies to you and uh, I'll catch up with you guys with another video later. Thanks for watching.